And if you're new here, I'm Sassy. Please follow me. Subscribe. If you're not new, welcome back again. Thanks for chilling. Today, we're going to get ready to go get a storage unit. You know, a couple videos ago, I announced that I was moving home. I'm moving home sooner than I thought, to be honest with you. So I guess I got to get my shit together. So that's the plan. I'm gonna go acquire my um, storage unit. I'm gonna go take some things to the storage unit that are already ready to go to said storage unit. And then I need to door dash again today for some money, some dollar dollar bills. But the main priority is to get the unit, take some stuff into the unit. I'm gonna take stuff with me when I go to the unit. Since I'm moving, everybody says I just need to get rid of all my shit. They've gotta be fucking, they got me fucked up if they think I'm gonna get rid of all the stuff that I've acquired. I don't know why I have a weird attachment to it, but I do. Anyway, do I have a story to tell you today? I mean, I did get a funny text message. I guess I could tell you the story. Why not? So in my early 20s, I met this man um, through another person with the same name as me. We both named Cassie, right? So I met this person. What are we going to call him? Call him... Four to six weeks later. We'll call him Woody. Woody is somebody I met through with somebody named Cassie. I remember just messaging Woody. I didn't even know. I, I didn't even meet him directly through her because I just messaged her and said, hey, do you know where I can get some? At the time, I was looking for psychedelics. I wanted, you know, some psychedelics. <laughs> so I messaged Woody, and I go, hi, so-and-so sent me, I was just wondering if you knew where I could find some of the fluff, the good stuff, I want to fucking go to space, but at the time, I didn't realize that pretty privilege really was a thing, okay, I'm still kind of lost in my pretty privilege, because I was in a very long-term relationship, but at that time, my partner, like, always was pressured me to talk to people about acquiring these types of goods because I was a female and he knew that females got free shit. So he would send me on little excursions to go find the good stuff, right? And so I just happened to know this girl through our friend group. She dated somebody that we knew. She introduced us. She introduced me to this man through a text. We got that. Yes, Cass. Okay. We go and I message this man, you know, multiple times. He's given me the best goods I've ever gotten in my whole life. I, I can't deny it. Woody always came through. And I legitimately was on a very psychedelic awakening in that time of my life. I like psychedelics. I wanted to channel into my inner self. I mean, it's honestly, it's a curse also. It's a very, it's a blessing, right? I'm very self-aware, but being self-aware now is a very much a curse because I know when I'm doing bad things for myself and I'm like ignoring it. It's easy when you're just like kind of oblivious to yourself, but when you're not and you know too much, it sucks. So Woody and I have met, right? I've seen Woody. I've exchanged goods and services with Woody. He's a great guy. He's giving me free stuff, pretty privilege, right? Calls me Big Booty Judy. I, at the time, did not have a booty. <laughs> I was no Judy. But he always hyped me up. He was a good hype man. He still is. That's the whole point of the story. And I have been close over the years. I've known Woody for maybe 10 years at this point. And we don't live in the same state anymore. And he will message me out of the blue and tell me how sexy fine I am. And, you know, I recently started doing a spicy site, right? Uh, this man has harassed me for years. This man bought me a, a jacket in my closet that lights up so cool. He's just nice, right? Whatever. Anyways, I have always been so, like, prudish to this man, right? You know, you see my tits a few times here and there just for shits and gigs. But 
Recently, I got like a wild hair in my ass and like I do have frontal photos of my cat to share. Usually I charge good money for that because I'm a only fans creator. Can you even talk about that on here? I don't know. Anyways, anyways, <laughs> I sent this man a photo of my kitty cat, what, a couple weeks ago, right? It's been a while. He messages me today. First of all, <laughs> he's hilarious. He messages me the most random shit. Just the most random shit in the world. He goes, you know, he sends me a photo of him with a baby and this man should not be trusted with a baby. Like he can be trusted, like he is trustworthy enough, but like just like the man I knew and like, he's missing a tooth. I love you. What do you, if you're watching this, I love you so much. <laughs> yeah, yo, you enjoy that I'm telling a story about you. There's actually another story I can tell about Woody too. Anyways, Woody sends me a photo of him and a baby. And he goes, I found a baby. And I go, where did you find that baby? Coffee bean? I'm like hitting him with the hangover reference, right? And I go, there's a movie joke in there because I don't know if he would get it. He's lived in the woods. That's why I call him Woody. And he goes, remember, remember Buzz? And Buzz is his buddy that I used to go. They used to live together. So I would go to Woody and Buzz's house sometimes in the mountains, in the woods. He goes, this is baby. I was able to be Uncle Woody to it briefly. And I go, and then literally the text message after he goes, also, is it bad that I look at your kitty pic here and there for inspiration? And then his immediate follow-up text message after that, it goes, probably bad since that question was in three texts of a baby. <laughs> I love this man. Not that I want to marry him, but he is a fucking idiot in the best way. These are my people. And I go, no way, he had a baby? And I just like referenced the fucking probably had, like the question he had. I can't even talk because I think this is so stupid, okay? I go, I just cackled out loud. And he goes, well, his girl did. And I go, yeah, that's how the birds and the bees go. You know, he's just an idiot. No, we're not having that conversation. But the fact that he hits me with, yeah, it's probably bad since that question was in three texts of a baby. Yes. Yeah, you probably shouldn't be sending that text message within three of a photo of you and a baby. Woody is good people. I love Woody. Should I throw in the bonus story of the other bonus story of Woody or should I make that its own story? I'll make it its own story. Okay. I only got one eyeliner done. I absolutely can't. 10 minutes, I can do one eye and tell you guys the story. I don't, I'm not particularly proud of that, but I want you to know and have a good day. And like, that's just a little story. That's just a side quest. It's not really like a core memory story, but like, it's a story to share with you. I thought it was funny. I might make a TikTok about it and green screen it and block out some names and stuff, but. I'm going to get a storage unit today. I'm going to take shit to that said storage unit. <coughs> <laughs> nice push. I'm going to go get a storage bin or two because I don't, I don't believe in boxes anymore. I'm a storage unit babe. I'm a storage bin babe all the way. I have fully transformed all of my like closet boxes that have my craft shit into bins and it's a life changer. So we don't believe in the fucking, we'll pay a little extra for a plastic bin. And on that note, have a great freaking day or night, or maybe this is in the afternoon or maybe in the middle of the night. Who knows? I hope you have a great freaking day and please subscribe. We'll see you next time. Later gators. <laughs>